on this computer. So good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome to a date with you. Dobar, torej, dobar večer vsi, dobrodošli in dobrodošli na zmenek sabo. Uh, my name is Vladica Djordjevic and uh, I'm very grateful that we have so many people registered for this topic. It seems like it's a very attractive topic. Torej, sem Vladica Djordjevic in sem zares hvaležna, da, smo, da imamo toliko registracij za to temo, ker očitno je to zares tema, ki je izredno atraktivna. Because what is actually dating? Is it about someone else or is it an interaction that we have with people every day? Torej, kaj je v bistvu zmenek? Ali je to um, interakcija, katera imamo z ljudmi vsak dan? Ali je to, what did you say at first? The, an interaction that we have with people every day. Yes. So, al, torej, ali je interakcija, katera imamo z ljudmi vsak dan? So, what is happening in an interaction with someone else? Torej, kaj se dogaja z interakcijo z nekom drugim? Have you seen a relaxed facial expression that breaks into a genuine smile. Torej, a ste že videli mogoče totalno sproščen um, obraz na, ne, na nekem človeku, ki se je spontano razvil v nasmeh? How does that make you feel? Kako se počutite ob tem? You immediately read the sign and you actually don't need any words, right? Tako preberete znak in dojansko v resnici ne rabite nobene besede. So what is happening when you are angry at someone and you are trying to do everything not to show that you are angry, but you would actually rather kill them? <laughs> Torej, kaj se dogaja, kadar ste vi jezni na nekoga in bi naredili vse, da jim tega ne bi pokazali, ampak krati bi jih po resnici najraje kar ubili. A lot of stuff is happening in this interaction in between you and someone else. And if you don't know you and don't allow yourself to have the awareness about what's going on, you will feel not so good. Torej, ogromna interakcija se dogaja med vami in med to osebo v tem času in če nimate dovolj samo zavedanja o sebi in o tem, kaj se dogaja, se dejansko ne boste poču- počutili prav v redu. I was having a conversation the other day with the man that has done recently some access consciousness classes. Imela sem pogovor z enim moškim v zadnjem času, um, ki je naredil kar nekaj seminarja, ki je upravil nekaj seminarjo Access Consciousnessa. And he said, I cannot be with anyone anymore and I don't want to be in this reality anymore. This is so stupid. Rekel je, da ne želim biti z nikomor več in nikdar v, um, v tej realnosti, ker je vse skupaj zelo neumno. I want to go beyond it. Hočem iti on kraj tega. So it's actually not about you running away from this reality or sitting on a mountain by yourself and meditating all day long. This is not how it works. Torej, ne gre se zato, da vi zbežite stran od te realnosti, ali pa da spledate na goro in tam cele dneve meditirate. Ne, v bistvu, stvari niso take, ne delujejo tako, na tak način. What if it, what if you can be the effect, not the effect? Kaj če ste vi lahko afekt in ne efekt tega? Because nobody is actually teaching us what it means. Ker v resnici naš nihče ne uči, kaj to pomeni. We so easily go into fight, into separation, into anger, into judgment, but what if there is another way? Zelo z lahkoto gremo v jezo, v sodbo, v boj, ampak kaj, če je dejansko še kakšen drug način? Body language or body communication, or call it body awareness, because this is what we do in a body class, is many times much more important than your voice and the choice of your words when you communicate. 
torej govorica vašega telesa oziroma telo in njegovo zavedanje, kot ga kličemo v Access Consciousnessu, je dejansko veliko bolj pomembno kot to, kaj vi govorite z besedami, ko ste v interakciji z nekom. Body language is the unspoken part of communication that we use actually to reveal the true feelings and to give our message more impact. Torej, govorica telesa je tista, ki v resnici ne pride iz naših ust, torej ni izgovorjena, ampak dejansko pokaže tisto zares pristno stvar, ki jo tudi zraven kažemo nekomu. So, you all have that ability to pick up messages that are unspoken. Torej, vsi vi imate sposobnosti, da preberete sporočila, ki niso izgovorjena. We all read energy. Vsi mi beremo energijo. So, what if I told you that there is a way to get almost anything that you want? Torej, kaj bi bilo, če vam povem, da je način, na katerega lahko dobite skoraj vse, kar si želite? What if you secretly can know what people think? Kaj, če skrivnostno lahko veste, kaj ljudje razmišljajo? Would you use it? Ali bi vi to uporabili? Many people who are good, who have very... developed awareness, they are actually very good in reading bodies. Ljudje, ki imajo zelo veliko zavedanja, so v resnici zelo dobri pri tem, da berejo telesa. These people have a lot of magical possibilities in their life. Te ljudje imajo ogromno magičnih možnosti v njihovih življenjih. What If you have that magical possibility and you are actually not using it for you, but you are using it against you because you hate your body and you resist your body. Kaj, če imate tudi vi te magične možnosti na voljo, ampak jih ne uporabljate za se, ampak v resnici proti sebe, proti sebi, ker so vražite svoja telesa. Now, um, We all know that we all function from limitations, right? Torej sedaj, vsi mi vemo, da vsi funkcioniramo mi iz omejitev. And there are layers and layers and layers of limitations. In da so nivoji, 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 nivoji omejitev. Because this reality is constructed into judgment so that we believe that this is all there is. Torej, ta realnost je konstruirana tako, da se sodimo in mi verjamemo, da je to vse, kar obstaja. It's not true. Ampak v resnici to ni res. So how do you connect with people? Torej, kako se vi povežete z ljudmi? How does people connect with you? Kako se ljudje povežejo z vami? We all connect on all the points of views that we have about bodies. Vsi mi se povezujemo na načine, da na iste načine se pravi z istimi omejitvami, katere imamo o telesih. So you suddenly find yourself in the same frequency with the people that judge in the similar way as you do. Torej, kaj naenkrat se boste znašli z ljudmi na istih frekvencah, ki enako sodijo druge ljudi tako, kot jih tudi vi. And how do you change this? That's the question. Torej, kako to spremenimo? To je zdaj vprašanje. Well, first of all, you have to become aware of your own judgments about you. Torej, najprej se morate zavedati vaših lastnih sodb o vas samih. And you have to be willing to acknowledge that you are aware. In morate biti voljni o zavestiti, da se zavedate. How many times per day do you tell yourself, I see you? Torej, koliko krat na dan si rečite, vidim te. 
I have total caring for you. I adore you. I mam totalno, torej imam totalno skrbnost do sebe, obožujem se. With no resistance or re a reaction of who you are. Brez kakršnega kol upiranja ali reakcije, kdo biste. Let's be honest. Torej budimo iskreni. Because this is actually where it starts. It starts with one person that is willing to change something about themselves. And this is where you change the frequency of what kind of people you are inviting in your life. Torej, v resnici se začne tukaj, v resnici se začne z eno osebo, ki spremeni frekvenco o vaš samih, torej začne se z vami in potem vi privabite take ljudi v svoje življenje. Yesterday I gave a tool actually on Instagram. Uh, I was asking um, to think about people in your life that you have conflicts with. Torej, včeraj sem na Instagramu dala neko orodje in spraševala sem ljudi, da pomislijo na nekoga, s komer imajo konflikte v življenju. And then you have to ask yourself, so what contribution can I be here? In potem se morate vprašati, torej, kakšen doprinos sem lahko jaz tukaj? What is available as a contribution that I can choose to be interesting point of view? Kaj je na voljo kot doprinos, če izberem biti zanimiv pogled v zvezi s tem? And you have already heard this one million times. If you know about access consciousness, your point of view creates your reality. In najverjetneje ste to že slišali milijonkrat, če ste slišali za access consciousness, da vaše stališče ustvarja vašo realnost. So this is where it starts. Torej, to je tisto, kjer se vse začne. How much gratitude do you have for your body? Koliko hvaležnosti imate za svoja telesa? Let's look at one emotion that you have right now that is controlling and dominating you. Pogledajmo tore eno čustvo, ki ga imate prav sedaj, ki vas kontrolira in vas dominira. And let's do it together like an exercise. In naredimo to skupaj kot eno vajo. So just take that emotion, put your awareness on that part of the body that you hate so much. Torej Sedaj prevzemite to čustvo, zaznajte to čustvo in pomislite na del telesa, katerega sovražite za res močno. And let's go there and just take like a huge, you are pulling out all that energy from your body. In sedaj pojedimo tja in vlecimo ogromne količine energije iz tega dela telesa Ven iz vašega telesa. And you just throw a big energy ball on 12. In sedaj samo naredimo, samo vržemo veliko energijsko kroglo na številko 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, and 12, 12. Torej 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Do you know what is happening? Ali veste, kaj se sedaj dogaja? You are opening up a space. Odpirate se prostoru. And when you open up a space, you are inviting people that can be in this space with you with no judgment. In ko odprete prostor, vabite van ljudi, ki sta lahko z vami brez sodb. So imagine actually when you are getting out of judgment of your body, imagine what kind of world we can have together. Torej, predstavljate si, kaj bi se zgodilo, če griste vi ven iz obsojanja samega sebe? Kakšen svet bi imeli mi vsi skupaj? So everything you have been doing to stop yourself from ease, will you please destroy and uncreate it all? Torej, vse, kar počnete, da se zaustavljate pred lahkotnostjo, priprosim vse to uničen razgradili krat godziljon. 
right or wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And all the jails that you are using to create the dominance of, e, of MC square as refusing ease, joy, and glory so that you can institute pain and suffering and gory. Will you please destroy and uncreate it all? In torej, vse, kjer del, delate, um, vse ječe, so, yeah. vse, kjer vse ječe in prevlado i je mokrat na kvadrat in zavračate um, lahkotnost, radost in veličasnost in raje delate um, trpljenje, um, sodbe um, in se pomanjšujete v življenju, bi prosim vse to niče ne zgodili krat go zeljon. Right and wrong, good and bad, for them, but I'm going to show the symbionts. Thank you. Because um, what is happening is that we connect with people from the reference points of views that we actually have, that is based on our experience, on our drama, on our trauma. And we are not aware of that. Torej, dejansko se povezujemo z drugimi ljudmi, bazirano na naših referenčnih točkah, bazirano na naši drami, bazirano na naši traumi in tega se dejansko ne zavedamo. So we immediately project. Torej, dejansko takoj projeciramo. And when we project, the other person receive the projection. In ko mi projeciramo, druga oseba prejme projekcijo. And then they project it back on you. In potem oni projecirajo nazaj na vas. So how many fixed points of views do you have about you and your body? Torej, koliko stališč vi imate o vas in o vaših telesih? Everything that is, will you please destroy and create it all? Vse, kar to je, bi prosim uniče razgledili krat go zeljon. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What if the energy that you can be is no longer about other people? Kaj če energija, katera lahko ste, se ne gre več o drugih ljudeh? What if you can be an energy that is really, truly inviting different possibilities? Kaj če ste vi lahko energija, ki resnično vabi drugačne možnosti? What would that change in your world? Kaj bi to spremenilo v vašem svetu? So, my, uh, my, uh, my uh, purpose actually with this call tonight is to give you a possibility so that I can facilitate you into something different. Tole, moj namen današnjega klica je bil, da vam odprem možnosti in da vas lahko facilitiram v nekaj drugačnega. As I am having a lot of classes coming up in Slovenia, I would like this call actually to be an invitation for you to choose more of you. Ker dejansko bom imela ogromno seminarjev tudi v Sloveniji, bi rada izkoristila ta klic, da, va, da vas povabim v to, da izbirate več sebe. We have this three-day body class coming up in Ljubljana, March um, 11th, 12th, 13th. And it is such a wonderful possibility actually to uh, activate all of these energetic processes on your body so that you can get a sense of what is possible when you are not judging your body so much. Torej, v Ljubljani bomo imeli od 11. do 13. marca tridnevni seminar o telesih in na njem bomo raz- zaganjali različne procese in vse skupaj bo velik energijski doprinos temu, da boste vi nehali soditi svoje telesa in prepoznali, kaj vse je še moguče z vašimi telesi. How much do you pretend to be and that is actually not you? Kolike, koliko se pretvarjate biti to, kar v resnici niste vi? And this is something that we all do, because I'm sure that you have noticed that when you are alone with yourself in your own space at home, you are totally different than when you interact with another person. 
In to je tisto, kar čisto vsi mi počnemo, ker najprej ste že ugotovili, da kadar ste doma sami v svoji sobi, ste čisto drugačni kot takrat, ko ste nekje drugi v interakciji z drugo osebo. So my question is, would you be interested in actually learning how your body speak and how aware you are? Torej, moje vprašanje tukaj je, ali bi bili voljni se naučiti, kako vaše telo govori in, kako, in koliko zavedanja v resnici vi že imate? Because, you know, the more you smile and the more you are relaxed, the happier you, your body is and you are. And this is like a ripple effect that is changing everyone around you. Ker v resnici je tako, da bolj kot se smejete in bolj kot ste sproščeni, bolj imate dejansko um, efekt tudi na druge in vplivate tudi na to, kako se drugi ljudi počutijo okrog vas. So what is it that you hate most of and with your body? Torej, kaj je tisto, kar se vražite najbolj pri svojem telesu? And what is it that you have decided is absolutely not changeable, that would be very easy to change if you just allow yourself to love yourself a little bit more? Torej, kaj je tisto, kar ste se odločili, da absolutno ne morete spremeniti, kar pa bi bilo v resnici zares zlahko to spremeniti, če bi se dovolili, da ljubite svoje telo malo bolj? How many emotions do you have that is actually killing your body? Koliko emocij imate, ki v resnici ubijajo vaša telesa? Is it love and what is love? Ali je ljubezen in kaj je ljubezen? <laughs> is love a fight that takes us into separation, anger, judgment or is it something else? Torej, ali je ljubezen boj, ki, va, ki nas odpelje v ločitev, v sodbe? Ali je mogoče nekaj drugega? So I'm actually opening up for questions here because I love the interaction and what is happening with us when we are being in the class. And this is the energy that I can present in a totally different way than just giving you a lecture here. Torej, to je moje vprašanje za vas in bi rada vašo interakcijo, torej, da mi odgovorite, ker v resnici na tak način lahko ustvarjamo čisto drugačen seminar, tako delujemo tudi na vseh mojih seminarih, ker je čisto drugače, če sem jaz v interakciji z vami in v tem, kaj se vam dogaja, kot pa če samo imam jaz tukaj sama nek seminar, neko lekcijo. What did you hope to get out from this class? Tonight. Kaj ste upali, da boste prejeli od tega seminarja, od tega Zuma danes? To go on a date? <laughs> <Na zmenek. laughs> Or to keep a date? Ali da obdržite zmenek? Bi se mogoče kdo javil, lahko kar se unmutate, spodaj levo imate mikrofonček, pa lahko se nekdo tudi javi, če želite. Nobody wants to ask a question. Ali nihče ne želi vprašati vprašanja? A ima kdo kakšno vprašanje? I'm just looking if we have something in the chat. Pogledala bom samo, če imamo kaj v našem četu. Anyone? No so, Katjuša, Katjuša is asking cool. that... Um, that she would like to have more intimacy with herself. Okay. So, intimacy starts... Just, Slo- just Slovenian translation. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Torej, Katjuša sprašuje, da bi rada dobila več intimnosti sama sabo. So, first of all, I would like to know, what does intimacy mean to you? 
Torej, najprej, kar bi rada videla, je, kaj intimnost pomeni za te. What does it mean to you? Kaj v resnici pomeni za te? Katjuša, lahko napišaš ali pa se tudi javiš? Because, you know, intimacy means so different to so many people. It can mean that you will be able to communicate with other people, totally open. It can mean something sexually about your body, that you would like to learn to know your body even more. What does it mean, actually, to you? Ker resniti intimnost lahko pomeni različne stvari, torej, da smo bolj um, otprti za druge ljudi, said, lahko je to, da imate več intimnosti s svojim telesom. Ja, in kot još je rekla vse to. Ok, so will you give me one day or something? Uh, we can do a class one day, two days. <laughs> torej, ali bi mi mogoče dali en dan ali dva dni, da lahko naredimo kar seminar na to temo, če jo res vse, če vas res vse zanima. Okay, so intimacy is the willingness of actually receiving you with total vulnerability and showing up exactly as you are. Torej, intimnost je v resnici ranljivost vas, da ste se voljni pokazati točno takšni, kakršni ste. Intimacy is being willing to be totally present with someone no matter what they think about you. Intimnost pomeni biti prisoten z nekom, ne glede na to, kaj ta oseba misli o vas. Now, this is the key to be present with it. Torej, to je ključ, da ste prisotni s tem. And I know it's not easy because I am still being triggered by old emotions. In vem da ni lahko, ker tudi meni se še vedno sprožajo stare emocije. And the tools are actually to use them every day and to lower, 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 lower your barriers. In orodja so za to, da jih uporabljate čisto vsak dan in da spuščate, spuščate, spuščate svoje barjere. Prakt- and practice gratitude for your body. In da prakticirate hvaležnost za svoje telo. Now, so every evening tell yourself that you see yourself. In sedaj Vaja, vsak večer povejte sebi, da se vidite. And start with some parts of your body that you like. In začnite z nekaterimi deli vašega telesa, katere imate radi, katere so vam všeč. And then take another part of your body that you hate. In potem vzemite drugi del vašega telesa, katerega so vražite. Let's say that you hate your breasts or your butt or we women, we are so crazy, by the way. <laughs> Recimo, da mogoče ne marate svojih prsi ali svoje riti in mimo grede, mi ženske smo zares nore. And just change that energy by putting the awareness of a body part that you hate so much. And as I mentioned here, ask that space to open up. In samo dajte svoje zavedanje na del telesa, katerega ne marate, in samo povprašate potem, da se odpre prostor, da, da imate več prostora. And start to discover yourself. In začnite radiskovati sebe. Whenever it is uncomfortable, um, challenge yourself. Kadarkoli vam je neudobno, se izzivajte. I'm going, sit, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to meet this emotion no matter what it takes. Sedela bom tukaj in srečala se bom s tem svojim čustvom, ne glede na to, kaj bo potrebno. And run the processes what energy space, consciousness choice, magic and miracles can he and my body be to be the magic of intimacy I truly be with me. 
torej in za ženite si tale proces, kakšna energija, prostor, zavest, veličasnost, misterij in možnosti sem lahko jaz z mojim telesom, da sem da zaženem intimnost sama s sabo s popolno lahkoto. And would you please allow yourself after this uh, Zoom to be all of this that we are talking about tonight? In ali bi bili prosim voljni po tem Zoomu dopustiti sami sebi, da ste ta energija, katero danes tukaj odpiramo? Now close your eyes for a second and perceive yourself all of you. In sedaj prosim vsi tukaj zaprite za sekundo svoje oči in zaznajte sebe. Sorry. And imagine yourself and feel it in yourselves when I talk about this. In prosim začutite to znotraj celic, ko bom govorila o tem. Imagine yourself how you walk through the world and in every interaction that you have with people you choose how to be in predstavljate si da ko hodite po svetu in vsakič ko imate neko interakcijo z drugimi ljudmi vi izberete kako boste this is when you are the effect not the effect to je tisto kjer ste vi afekt in ne efekt so you are grateful for everything that you be. And I'm not saying that you are not allowed to be angry or to uh, have... You can be whatever you be, but be it, be it uh, consciously. Torej, vabim vas v to, da vi ste vse, kar ste, in ni pomembno, da um, zavračate recimo jezo, lahko ste vse, ampak samo bodite, prosim to, zavestno. Intimacy is not judging. Intimnost je v resnici to, da se ne obsojete, da ne sodite. Intimacy is being you, no matter what other people think about you. Intimnost je to, da ste vi vi, ne glede na to, kaj drugi ljudi mislijo o vas. You honor yourself. Vi spoštujete sebe. You trust yourself. Vi zaupate sebi. You are in allowance of yourself. Vi ste v dopuščanju sebe. You are grateful for you. Vi ste hvaležni za te, za se. And you are vulnerable with you, no matter how you are. In vi ste ranljivi sami sabo, ne glede na to, kako ste. So, if you have those elements with yourself, torej, če imate vse ti elemente sami sabo, then you can have a wonderful date. <laughs> Potem imate lahko čudovi zmeni. <laughs> But if you don't have those elements with yourself, then you will go into the drama and trauma of this reality. Ampak, če nimate vseh teh elementov sami s sabo, potem boste šli v dramo in travmo od te realnosti. So let's run this process. Thank you for the question, by the way. It's an amazing question. Um, mimo grede, for, zares hvala, sem hvaležna za to vprašanje, ker je, je zares zanimivo in čudovito vprašanje. And I actually talk more about those elements in foundation uh, where we explain what, is, what does it mean to be vulnerable. It doesn't mean that people will walk all over you and you are a doormat. Torej, in v resnici več o tem, kaj pomeni na primer ranljivost, govorim na seminarju Temelji in um, to, da ste ranljivi, ne pomeni, da bodo ljudje hodili po vas in da boste vi pred pražnik. But you are aware of what works for you and you just say, this is not acceptable for me. Ampak v resnici ste v zavedanju tega, kaj deluje za vas in samo rečete, to za me ni spošljivo, to za me ni sprejemljivo. So having a date with yourself is knowing who you be. Torej, imeti zmenek sami s sabo je to, da veste, kdo vi ste. So this is the process that I would recommend everyone on this call to run every day. 
Torej, to je proces, za katerega bi se želela, da vsak izmed vas zažene čisto vsak dan sam sebi. What energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic and miracles can me and my body be to be the honor, the trust, the allowance, the gratitude and the vulnerability of total presence for all eternity. Torej, kakšna energija, prostor zavesti in izbire, smo lahko, sem lahko jaz in moje telo, da imam totalno spoštljivost, zaupanje, do, dopuščanje in hvaležnost za svoje te... For, for my gratitude for? My presence. Z, torej, torej, hvaležnost za svojo prisotnost, za celo večnost. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the question. Great question. And what, Hvala za vprašanje. Čudovito vprašanje. What is she saying here? Kar pravi Vladi? What does it mean? Uh, that means what Vladi says. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. And we have another question. Daniela is asking, what is this about bodies? What, what, and what seminar will this be? Because she doesn't know about it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Daniela, for your question. I don't know, have you done any access consciousness at all? Torej, Daniela, hvala lipa za tvoje vprašanje, ki je bilo, kaj je to v telesih, kateri seminar to je, ker ne poznam. In Vladica sprašuje, ali mogoče si poznaš kar koli od access consciousnessa? Si že slišala za to? Yes. Yes, you're saying yes. Yeah, because we have a bars and then we have a foundation class. And in the foundation class, you will already be there introduced to some of the body processes that we will run in a three-day body class. Torej, imamo najprej v Access Consciousness, so imamo barse in potem imamo seminar temelji. In na seminarju temelji vam že predstavimo nekaj telesnih procesov, katere imamo potem tudi na tridnevnem seminarju o telesih. And in a three-day body class that I'm facilitating in Ljubljana, March 11, we are activating 60 energetic body processes on your body. In na tridnevnem seminarju o telesih, katerega imamo torej tri dni v Ljubljani, 11, 12 in 13 marec, bomo aktivirali na vaših telesih 60 energijskih procesov. So, but they are actually all of them designed to bring up all your limitations and to release it from your body so that you can have that intimacy and that honor and that trust and that knowing about actually to be in communion and communicate with your body. Torej, te telesni procesi so oddizajnirani tako, da prinesejo na površje vaše omejitve in da lahko začnete komunicirati z vašimi telesi, da lahko začnete imeti zaupanje v vaše telesa. As I mentioned here before, I mean, communication is not only words, right? In kot sem omenila že prej, komunikacija niso samo besede, je tako? Words are just a, a small, 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 small part of it. Besede so samo mali, mali, mali delček tega. Did you actually know that research shows that babies that are as several weeks old, they already use this um, special smile only for their mothers, while they use more polite social smile for other people. Ali mogoče veste, da so raziskave pokazale, da dojenčki, ki so stari nekaj tednov, pokaže o svoji mami en tak drugačen nasmeh, zares tis velik nasmeh, med tem, ko do drugih ljudi imajo tak malo bolj zadržan socialen nasmeh. So, imagine this is happening already when you are a little baby, when you come to, a, to the world, you are already uh, actually choosing how you are going to introduce yourself to the world. In predstavljajte si, to se dejansko dogaja že, ko ste vi čisto mali, mali dojenčki, in že takrat začnete izbirati, kako se vi kažete svetu. And then you grow up maybe like with crazy parents like mine. 
In potem mogoče odrastate z kakšnimi norimi starši, kot so bili moji. My dad was like, girls have to be nice and don't go out, stay late with boys and don't have sex before you are blah, blah, blah. I was born in Serbia and uh, it was, I mean, really, and I was, I grew up in Sweden. So can you imagine the conflict I was living with as a young girl? Yeah. Torej, um, jaz sem odraščala z očetom, ki mi je govoril, punce ne bi smele hoditi pozno zvečer ven z moškimi in ne bi smele imeti seksa z, z moškimi do tega in tega leta in tako naprej. In predstavljajte si, moj oče je bil srb in živela sem na švedskem in predstavljajte si ta konflikt, kako je to potem zgledalo. So how many of you actually have this going on that you have an experience of a mother of a father that is today actually creating your reality with your body and your interaction with other people? Torej, koliko od vas je izkusilo nekaj takega podobnega z vašo mamo ali z vašim očetom in potem danes se to kaže pred tem, kakšen imate vi odnos do svojega telesa in kakšne imate interakcije sami s sabo in z drugimi ljudmi? So what is happening in a body class is that we put light on all of this. In kaj se dogaja na tridnevne seminarju o telesih je to, da mi damo luč na vse to. And... After that, you are having much more actually awareness about how and who you be in relationship with other people. In potem imate ogromno več zavedanja o tem, kaj in kako vi ste v razmerju z drugimi osebami. And much more ease with your body and hopefully you will let go of all the judgments that you are perpetrating on your body, not only in this lifetime, but forever. <laughs> in, um, kar bomo naredili, se, se prav kar se dogaja na tridnevnem seminarju o telesi, je to, da vi spustite vse te svoje sodbe in se osvobodite tega, kako sodite se prav svoje telo v tem življenju in tudi v preteklih življenjih. So it doesn't mean actually that you are going after a free day body class, you are walking around and having sex with everybody. Torej ne pomeni, da po tridnevne seminarju o telesih hodite okrog in imate seks z vsako mor. Because you are so free and happy. <laughs> Ker ste tako svobodni in srečni. No, it means actually that you are aware who are you going to sleep with that will be a contribution to your body? <laughs> ne, ne, jaz se boste vi v zavedanju tega, s kom si boste izbrali spati in da bo ta oseba doprinos tudi vašemu telesu. And you will also choose actually more people that are willing to contribute to you and make you happy. In dejansko boste začeli izbirati več ljudi, ki bodo doprinos vam in bodo osrečili vas. So you actually change the frequency of your reality, I would like to say. Torej dejansko boste spremenili frekvenco od vaše realnosti, tako bi lahko rekla. And a better and more fun and more ease reality is showing up. In boljša in bolj zabavna in bolj lahkotna realnost se vam prikaže. Does this help? Ali je to pomagalo? <laughs> yes, and the Daniela is also asking, so this, um, so this three-day body class is not in foundation, this is separate. Yes. Torej, ja, Daniela sprašuje, da ta seminar, trednjeni seminar o telesih, ni v temeljih, to je ločeno. Ja, tako je. Za predpogoj za vdeležbo na trednjeni seminarju o telesih so temelji. And you will also become a practitioner, so you can actually work on other bodies if you would like to, or if you are already a therapist or... Um, you are having your own business where you work with coaching or other modalities, you can add uh, those body processes to your business. So there are actually many possibilities after a three-day body class. 
Torej, ja, na tridnevnem seminarju o telesih postanete tudi praktik in potem lahko tudi delate z drugimi telesi za plačilo. Recimo, če že imate svoje delo, če ste, ne vem, maser ali kaj podobnega, ali pa samo ali pa naprimer to vzpostavite kot nekaj, kar bi vas zanimalo in se začnete okvarjati s tem. But the majority of the people are coming to the class to actually have more ease with their bodies, to have more intimacy with their bodies, to understand the language of their bodies, to communicate easier and interact with other bodies. Ampak v resnici večina ljudi prihaja na ta seminar zato, da bolj razume svoje telesa, zato, da ima več lahkotnosti s telesi, zato, da ima lahko intimnost s drugimi telesi in dejansko ima več lahkotnosti na sprošno v življenju. Hvala, Daniela. Hvala, Daniela. Vsi grote, ve vse razumljivo, zato ste simpatični. Ja razumem isto sve. Odlično. Super, super, odlično. Puno hvala za večeras. Ja se nadam, so I'm, I'm speaking actually Swedish, English, uh, Serbian, Slovenian. Slovenian a little bit and also Romanian and German. So I don't know, let's talk. <laughs> Govorimo o gravno jezikov in ja, dejansko lahko bi se zdaj pogovarjali kar v različnih jezikih. So you can contact Miha and Sandra for any questions that you have about this upcoming class in Ljubljana. I'm also going to have an evening class where I will work with the Symphony of Possibilities that is developed by Dr. Dane here. Torej, lahko kontaktirate Miha Stare, Alessandra Stare za kakršnokoli vprašanje v zvezi s tem seminarjem. In prvi večer bom imela tudi večerni seminar, se pravi 11. marca, kjer bom delala simfonijo možnosti, katero je razvil dr. Dan Hir. So, it will be a group class and we have max 20 people, I think. So please book your, book your spot as soon as possible. And um, yeah, I'm really, really very happy to contribute to your bodies. And I know what change you can have if you are attending one of those classes. I've been a body facilitator for seven years. In prvi večer se pravi ste vavljeni, da se držite te simfonije možnosti in rezervirajte si svoje mesto, ker mislim, da bo na voljo samo 20 mest in zares si želim biti doprinos vašim telesom in vem, da so ogromne spremembe možne. In sama sem tudi že sedem let facilitatorica, tako da ja, imam ogromno izkušenj. And I see some of the people here that has done classes with me. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> cool. Okay. Are we good for tonight? Or do you feel good? Do you feel better? Are you going on a date now or what? Super. Kako se sedaj počutite? Ali ste dobro? Ali se počutite boljše? Ali boste sedaj šli na zmenek sami samo? Ali kaj? Ali kaj? Sonja je saying that she is super. Good. She just did the foundation class. She said she is coming to the body class, so I'm really looking forward to touch her body. Odlično. Sonja je vabljena na to, da prideš tudi na trednjevi seminar o telesih in se zares veselim, da se lahko dotaknem tvojega teleščka. And thank you, Mateja. Thank you, everyone. It was nice. Please listen to the Zoom a couple of times because you will get more from it. And listen to the questions and listen to the processes. And I really hope to see you all live in Ljubljana. And come and let's play and have fun. Hvala, hvala, hvala vsem za vdeležbo. Prosim, poslušajte današnje Zoom večkrat, ker boste prejeli od njega več. In prosim, poslušajte vprašanja, poslušajte procese in se jih zaganjajte. In pridite v Ljubljano in skupaj se zabavajmo. Bye. Čau. Čau, čau. Hvala, Sandra. Well done. Wow. Hvala.